Today I'm gonna to show you how to recreate this split screen effect using Camtasia 9. So to recreate that uh, Camtasia split screen uh, example that you saw in the beginning, I have six pieces of footage in my media bin and a music track. What I'll do is uh, crop and resize uh, those uh, pieces of footage. So I have one on the left and the other one on the right and I'll also place um, an object or a shape in between them to separate them. Uh, then I'll, I'll repeat that process and then I'll add a transition so it looks like it's getting uh, it's sliding to the left. So let's begin with these two at the top here. Begin with that. Uh, kind of following a story, I suppose. So someone's texting another person, They're texting a friend. Um, this piece of footage here, I'm going to shrink it down so it's the same length as the other one. I'll select both of these and also bring it down to about uh, two and a half seconds or so, three seconds. So we'll start by uh, cropping the first footage, which is, if you look at the time, line it's on the top so to begin uh, we'll crop it so you select that and then dragging the box across here I'm going to click that drag it to the left until I have enough of the image or of the footage rather so I'll stop around there so I'll make sure I, I click the arrow so I prevent it getting uh, um, further cropped now for this, the other footage which is under it, we're going to select crop again, bring it over here and stop there, select the arrow and I'm going to bring it into view. So what I'm going to choose, to, I'm going to, with this uh, footage on the top, I am going to shrink it down a little bit more just to share the space a bit better. So I'll, what I'll do here, while I press the shift key, I'm going to uh, drag this to the left a little bit more. So that's, that's a little bit better. Yes. More or less, uh, that's about 50-50. And just to add to the effect, I'm going to go and add a, a, a shape to split the two here. So go over to Annotations. And uh, any of these shapes would do. I'll select this one. Click and drag it. And place it on the top. Just make it thinner. Select the green uh, circle. Spin it 90 degrees there and I'll just make it long ways so it covers the screen and make it a bit thinner and center it there so I'll come over to the properties panel and uh, at the moment the opacity is zero I'm going to bring that to 100 now and the outline I'm going to change that to black Great. So at the moment, we have two pieces of footage playing at the same time, split down the middle. So we're going to repeat this process now with the other footage. So we'll go to the media bin again and we'll add these two here. So we'll start with this one, put it on top, and the other one down below. As we did before, I'll shrink that one so it's about the same length, select both of them, shrink it down further. Out there, and I'll see how this looks. So we need to do the same thing. I'm going to select that at top one, shrink it down again, go to crop. 
So what I'll do, I'm going to repeat this process for the other footage uh, because you've already seen it done the first time and then I'll, I'll come back when uh, all pieces of footage are ready. Okay, so I've cropped, resized uh, all of those, um, all those videos and each one has this black strip going down the middle because on the timeline uh, it's placed over the top and covers all of the videos equally. So without doing anything else, this is what it looks like. So you've seen how to crop and resize the footage. Watch part two to learn how to add the slide transition.